Greetings, ladies and gents. My name is Rob the Gamer, and welcome to Blind Date. Now, apparently, this is a horror game. If you, uh, I'll have a link in the description below. If you look at the, uh, the, uh, the uh, thumbnail, it totally does not look like a horror game at all. But then again, some games can be very deceiving. So we're gonna get we're gonna give this a try. I uh, it's, a, it's another Meatly Jams game. I'm you know like I I wanted to get I want to give this game a try because I've seen other people do it. I haven't seen the videos because obviously I like going into games kind of not knowing, kind of wanting to learn for myself. So my uh, because I'm not a great actor, so I want everything to be real. And I, I mean, that would be fair. That's it. Isn't fair to you that I go into a game that I that I already know about? Not as fun, if I do say so myself. I hate, I hate feeling like someone else has already been there, done that, and they're just going through the motions. So, this is like I said, blind date horror game. I don't know what to expect. So let's just get into it. You are going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Don't mess this up. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Hello. Oh, cool. We got options. Oh good, you made it. Hello. It's good to see you. Sorry I'm late. I had to take the bus here because my car's broken down. It's no big deal. It happens to the best of us. Ha! Shit happens. That doesn't seem like something I would say. Hap I would say that. It happens to the best of us. I suppose it does. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? I work as a contractor. It pays well. I work as a massage therapist. I work as a software engineer. Well, which one is it? Which one is it? I'm assuming it's the one that says it pays well, because all these two seem like they're lies. So let's be honest. We gotta be honest with ourselves. Well, that's interesting. You must be pretty buff. <laughs> you could say that. You bet I am. Ha, ah, don't flatter me. Yeah, that'd be more me. I'd be like, no, stop it. You both share a nervous laugh. Oh, good. Well, at least we're both nervous. The woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. Hell yeah, I'm nervous. Yes, I am. Oh, no, not at all. Look like a D there. No, not at all. It's, it's been a while. Oh, I completely understand. It's been a while for me, too. Frankly, my friends had to convince me to come here. It's been a very lonely year. Aw, well, that's sad. See, this seems more sad. This or, seems like it could be a happy ending. So what's your name? Mike? Chris? Josh? Well, I guess we're choosing our character's name. Um, let's go with Chris. I knew a Chris. He was a good guy. Well, Chris, you have a wonderful name. So tell me, are you from around here? I grew up here, moved here when I was young. Well, where are we? I guess we gotta keep picking because we gotta kind of choose, or I guess we're choosing our path. Not really sure. So, uh, yeah, I uh, moved here when I was young. I've lived here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people. It's awful lonely out here, though. Who was your last lover? That's a weird question to ask on a date. I mean, a first date, really? That's never something that I've ever gotten asked on a first date. Uh, pardon? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? It's been a very long time. It, it's really that important for you to know. Um, I don't really feel comfortable answering. Uh, uh, wait, are we so... <sighs> what? What an odd thing to, uh, it's been a very long time. Woman lets out a long, almost apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Yeah, you think? You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. All right, you know what? I'll give it, you know what? We'll give her, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. That was a very odd question. That's right. I've been out of commission myself. Yeah, there we go. Never mind. Let's, let's try to keep it, let's try to keep the conversation flowing. Let's not try to make it awkward woman offers a weak smile. Well, don't be like that. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Chris, do you cook? Almost never. I was really, I was never really, well, that seems me. On occasion. Uh, I was never really good at, oh, well, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. So how's Emma doing? Who? Oh. Haha, <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Excuse me, how do you even know my mother's name? Okay, that's a little disconcerting. That is, I know her, but how do you? The woman paused for a long time. You hadn't mentioned her before. No, I didn't. Christ, can you, can you be forward? How do you? No, I didn't. The woman's eyes grow shifty as if she's thinking intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me her. Apparently, your mother used to work for the company. Oh my, you must think I'm some kind of creep. Yeah, I think so. I suppose that makes sense. 
It's a little rude to bring it up at dinner. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, that's a relief. I would hope so. Oh shit, I fucked up already. Well, I've been trying to go on. Why, why are you here? I'm beginning to question that. Uh, existently? Oh, wait. Existently or situationally? Oh, that's, that's a smart ass answer right there. Uh, I. No, that's not what I meant. What? Why are you here? Why did you feel alone enough to come on this date? Why are you acting like. Yeah, really. What? This is beyond rude. Uh. What? You've lived alone for what? Three years? Six months? Twenty-three days? God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel living in that lonely condo. Well, being alone seems like a much better scenario than being here. Please stop. This is not polite. God, you're pathetic. Did you really think that going on a random blind date was going to fix everything? I've seen the way you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when nobody's looking. Oh, shit. We're on a date with our stalker. I'm, I'm out of here. I don't even take this. I could see you shaking all the way from the front door, nervous as all hell. I can see. Do you really think that uh, anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? I just don't want to be alone anymore. It hurts so much. I, please, I can't take this. Why are you saying these things? This is exactly what you deserve. What did I do? This poor Chris guy. You hate, your surf and er you hate yourself and everyone around you, and yet you reserve the right to feel lonely? I can't take it anymore. I feel so alone. I feel so empty. Oh, God. I mean, I understand the loneliness, but damn, this dude. Oh, man, I'd be out of there. I'd be, like, throwing my shit on the tape like, fuck you, bitch. I don't know. Actually, I might not make a scene like that, but I'd probably get up and walk because this is just beyond creepy and rude. I can't, for the love of God, stop. You've been dead inside for years and you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. I've seen you staring at that the piece of rope hesitating at the top of the building. I needed I needed help. I needed love. I needed contact. You need to realize the truth. You need to realize that you are nothing, completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life. No, you're wrong. You're a whiny little squirt whose sole purpose is to be unhappy, yet here you are unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. I, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe I came tonight. I'm sorry, Chris. I feel your pain and it's coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain on a blind date of all things. Well, I just want to be happy. I mean, everyone wants to be happy, so... Everyone wants something, Chris, and frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Chris. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed at home and ordered pizza like you had originally planned. Just, uh, sigh? I, I don't know. I was never going to be one to fix these problems. But you won't. Well, you're making them worse, if anything. You're being a bitch. I'm, I'm, something's telling me we're not on a date anymore. Something tells me this is all in this guy's head. He's so lonely he had to make up his own date now. I'm not going to fix your problems, Chris. I'm just going to make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I followed you for several years. You were my obsession, and I've never seen someone so unhappy. Well, you're a terrible stalker. Is there any hope of happiness for me? I don't know. That's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it. On your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Some women who you've never met, yet who knows you very well. You're a creeper! What to do now? But I don't know if I have the courage. God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. I'd say I'd made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before I came. And you could have made it better, and instead you sat there and you just abused the guy. It's just who I am. I know, however you need to realize that you never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're quite frankly disti distant to be alone forever. Yeah, a girl may come into your life every once in a while, but it's just going to be a reminder of what a piece of pathetic swine you are. Does it get better? No, plain and simple. 
You're barren. The desolate life you lead is barren. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because, oh boy, it should, because you are alone, completely and utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely. And it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert. No life, no love. Just dry, lonely land. So in the end, when faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave. I guess he's not coming. What? He played that whole scenario in his head! No! I chose the wrong answer! I chose the wrong answer! I meant, I meant leave you because you were being a terrible person! No! No, 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 no! I chose the wrong answer! Oh, no! Oh, God, guys! Oh, no! I chose the wrong answer! I didn't choose happiness! I chose loneliness! It was so many choices. It was obviously it was there was the choice of suicide, there was the choice of staying alone, and there was the choice of finding happiness, and I chose wrong. He had the whole scenario in his head of how the blind date was gonna go. And he he that was all him. That was all his fault. I was getting angry at her when it was, in reality it was him and oh my god, guys, and I chose wrong. I chose wrong. I think what I'm going to do, oh, I want to go back so badly. I want to go back so badly and redo it. Like, I, obviously, I'll just make all the same choices, but, oh, I want to go back so badly. Oh, I don't know. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place right now because I want you guys to go and do the, do the right thing. But I don't feel like there'd be that much of a difference of a change, but I want this guy to be happy, now oh, I chose wrong, I should have chose to go, and now I'm never going to, now he's never going to know, oh my god, I'm going to have to do it, or I'm going to feel terrible the entire time, I got to do it, I got to do it, I'm gonna, I'll be right back guys, I'm going to do it. Okay guys, I finally got back to it, and I, and the, I originally said I'm going to leave, which I decided because I was like, oh, I'm going to leave because I'm sick of you, but I think, but now I'm going to choose that I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Hi, I'm Sarah. The woman smiles. Oh. For as long as that took me to get back there, it actually is a huge sigh of relief just knowing that I I helped Chris out. I don't know why. I mean, he's just, it's just a game, right? It's just a game. But in all honesty, it's not. Because more people have these anxieties when they've been alone for so long they, and they never get and they never give themselves the opportunity and that's what this game was it was all in his head and we and I accidentally chose wrong when I chose for him to leave because I meant leave her like my my thoughts I didn't mean I didn't mean like leave the restaurant and that sucks he was there first and he never got the opportunity to even give himself a chance. And I was literally, I actually was, it was eating me away inside to make sure it's like, and I literally chose everything the same way just to make sure. And oh, I'm just so happy now. I'm so much happier knowing. And I, I, like I said, it's, it's just a video game. But guys, again, this is real. This is, the, this is a real life scenario where this could happen to someone. And I chose wrong before, thinking something completely different. But in all honesty, guys, you got to give it a chance. Because, you know, we're going to go through that crap. We all have. going to go through some crap. You're going to go through the wrong person. You're going to meet wrong people. And they're going to try to bring you down to their level. But, guys, there are better people out there. And there's always going to be someone out there who is right for you. But, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching Blind Date. And I hope that watching him stay helped you you know feel better too because i like i said it was eating me away inside and i'm just like no i don't want it to end in a bad way i wanted to get the good ending i really did but there was a remain silent portion so i don't know what that is but guys there will be a link in the description below you have to try this game it is it really makes you it really gets you thinking like what else could happen what more can there be to this game because there is probably some more to it maybe just like I feel like there's only like three paths and I've only and I've taken the two but there is a third one you can take if you really choose to do so but guys give this a great rating because it deserves it it's a 
well thought out game and a well uh, or a great uh, idea and good message that I hope we all can take from this game. So, guys, this was Blind Date. I'm Rob the Gamer. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Pokemon, go! Let's go catch some Mons. Let's catch some Mons, Mon. Ha ha, how nostalgic. Well, it is, I mean, this is Rabber, Rabbit Downey Jr., a co-worker. He plays a lot. I used to play. I don't play very much anymore. Haha, <laughs> love the console ones. Had to try this one. That's